What's going on guys? Congregate just came out with these new tier boxes and animation throwdown, so I thought we'd take a look at it and see if they're actually any good, or if they're just another cash grab. First up, let's take a look at the actual reward pool to see if there are cards in this box that are any good. Okay, so it has one legendary pre-combo, three legendary items, and two characters, which is the norm for um, boxes. It looks like it only has one epic pre-combo versus the two that are normally in the box, and it also has three epic items, which is one less than normal. Now you would think with there being less epics in the box, you would be more likely to pull legends. Knowing how pulls normally go in this game, however, I have a sneaking suspicion that it's heavily weighted more towards drawing those epics, even though there are less of them. Especially since Kong has never openly revealed the pull rates on boxes despite the requirements by Apple and Google Play Store requiring transparency of the odds when it comes to loot boxes on games. Now maybe they found a legal loophole that exempts them from having to reveal the odds. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer but it definitely doesn't inspire confidence as generally you don't try to keep something hidden if there isn't anything shady to hide. Anyways, moving on, there is another tab here for items. It looks like besides cards you can also pull combo mastery tokens from these boxes as well. There's 13 different ones in this box. Now one thing that stands out to me immediately is that all of these cards and combo masteries in this box are the exact ones that are getting granted a buff in the upcoming Burubu Clash Challenge on Christmas Eve. The challenge follows the same format as the Winter Clash Challenge, which I covered in a previous video. If you haven't seen that one yet, definitely check it out. You can click the link in the top right corner of your screen or check the video description. Now, I already thought that the Clash events were cash grabs targeted at the Mega Whales and Big Spenders of the game, and so far, this box is only reinforcing that opinion a hundredfold. Let's take a look at these tiers though and see how they work. So right off the bat here, it's telling us that we're guaranteed a Legendary on Tier 4, and it's using the Legendary pre-combo to advertise that. The first tier costs 200 gems and grants a couple 8-hour research speedups, a couple hundred Legendary Stones, and some Giggity Watts. It also has a copy of the epic pre-combo and one random card pull from the box. Now it says that the card pull can be a legendary, but once again, I have a gut feeling it's weighted more towards epics. So 200 gems as an initial buy-in for all of that doesn't sound too bad actually, considering a single pull from a normal box is 450 gems, which only usually nets you one card and maybe a couple stones. Let's um, reserve judgment though until we see the rest of these tiers. So if we click the little eye icon here, it will show us all of the tiers. So it looks like after you buy tier 1, the price jumps to 500 gems for tier 2. Once again, it gives you some research speedups, legendary stones, and watts. For tier 2 though, it gives you another epic pre-combo and two random cards. So once again, compared to regular boxes, you're coming out ahead here as the first special deal on a regular box costs 800 gems and grants you 3 cards. While with this one, you're getting 5 cards with 2 of them guaranteeing that you'll have a dual fuse of the epic pre-combo for only 700 gems. It looks like at tier 3 for 900 more gems, they up the ante by changing those research speedups to 24 hour ones, as well as letting you pull some combo mastery stones from the pool for the first time as well. You also pick up your third copy of the epic pre-combo and your card pull this time is a guaranteed legendary. And it looks like the initial advertising wasn't false. At tier 4 you are guaranteed the legendary pre-combo. It costs another 1400 gems though, so at this point you'll have paid 3000 gems for only two guaranteed legendary cards from the box, with one of those being a single copy of the legendary pre-combo. While you are getting a lot of other nice things to justify the cost, 3,000 gems sounds really steep to me for potentially only two legendary cards from the box. You will be able to get two more legends from the stones that you will have acquired by this point too, however the legends that you can get from the stone pool are drawn from a much wider pool than the box, and they're all considered non-premium legendaries for those. So again, 3,000 gems seems a little pricey to me for only two guaranteed premium legends. Tier 5 is where we'll really be able to see our closest comparison to regular boxes. It costs 2400 more gems, which puts your total to this point at 5400. It's more of the same, only this time they add in a couple super mythic stones. Your card pull is once again guaranteed to be a legendary, only this time it's guaranteed to be a dual fused copy of it. So it's basically like you're pulling two of the same legendaries without having to waste watts leveling them up. So at this point, you'll have pulled a whopping 9 24 hour research speedups, 6 8 hour speedups, 35 combo mastery stones that will be split across 5 different poles, 1900 giggity watts, 
a small handful of super mythic stones, and the equivalent of six guaranteed legendary cards, with only four of those six being premium cards from the box. There of course is the potential any of your other three card pulls could be legends as well, but again, one thing I do want to point out is that you'll notice there isn't a guaranteed card graphic on this tier like there are for all of the others. I'm hoping that's a bug, but I'm honestly not too sure. I would expect it to be the final copy of the epic pre-combo, but if you look at the description text here, it doesn't even list that as part of this tier. So once again, I'm really hoping that's a bug, because otherwise you're going to be stuck with only three copies of the epic pre-combo, unable to quad fuse it, as it doesn't appear in any of the other tiers after. So compared to a regular box, that's 1100 more gems than both special deals on a regular box cost you. Doing both special deals on a regular box grants you the same number of card pulls essentially. However, you're only guaranteed two legendaries from them. From personal experience though, both special deals on a regular box granted on average anywhere from four to eight premium legendary cards, often with multiple copies of different ones, allowing me to dual fuse multiple and in some cases quad fuse them. So not only is a regular box cheaper, but if your goal is to get premium legendary cards to improve your deck, it might be the better investment of gems if you're planning on dumping 5,000 gems or more into a box. Tier 6 and 7 are more of the same, and Tier 8 ups the ante by giving you two quad-fused legendary cards and gives you the last copy you need to quad-fuse the legendary pre-combo. If you completely buy out every tier of the box, in total, you'll receive 32 24-hour research speedups, 6 8-hour speedups, a quad fuse epic pre-combo, 125 combo mastery tokens spread out across 14 different pulls, 5,650 giggity watts, 300 super mythic stones, 1 quad fuse legendary pre-combo, 4 dual fuse legendary cards, and the equivalent of 6 other cards, with 3 of them being guaranteed legendary, but 2 of those 3 will be non-premium legendaries from stones. And what, pray tell, is the total price tag for such a bundle, you may be wondering? Well, I'll tell you. To completely buy out all of the tiers, you're looking at 20,900 gems. That roughly translates to over $200 USD in actual money. While that may be a lot of stuff you get for that, personally, I'm still not a fan of this type of box. First off, to spend $200 and not get enough of the Super Mythic Stones to even pull a Mythic? Talk about obnoxious, Kong. What's more? All of the cards and items in the box are specific to the Clash event, an event that is exclusively available only to higher level players who have made it into the Secret Fight Club and Arena, and an event that only seems to benefit the highest level of players through its rewards and ranking system that is seeded by Secret Fight Club rank, which, you guessed it, is completely already dominated by the biggest whales. To even start high enough in the challenge to have a chance at finishing high enough to see the good rewards, you have to be in or near the top 100 in Secret Fight Club when the event starts. And when you factor all of that in, it's blatantly obvious that this box is just another cash grab aimed at the whales and big spenders in an attempt to make them spend even more to compete for a higher ranking in the challenge. And you could probably hear the air quotes there when I say compete, because I'm using it very loosely as we've already seen in the last class challenge, there isn't very much strategy involved in it. It's more of a competition of who's got the bigger wallet than anything else. Personally, I think the old standard boxes are the better way to go when it comes to building a solid deck, especially if you're looking to build a deck for the specific trait or battleground effect. And I know I'm going to get crucified in the comments for this, but I actually liked the randomness of the pulls on the standard boxes. Don't get me wrong, the special deals are great for guaranteeing some good pulls and maximizing the number of pulls that you can do for the gems that are being spent. But I absolutely hate already knowing every single one of my pulls in advance. This is a collectible card game for God's sake. Half the thrill of opening packs and boxes is not knowing what you're going to get. It's the thrill of the gamble. It's part of the same reason Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards were such amazing and addicting card games in my childhood. By revealing the card pulls, Kong has ruined that thrill with this box and has just turned it into another cash grab. Anyways, that's my thoughts on these new tier boxes. What do you think about them? Let me know down in the comments. And also, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more animation throwdown content. I have a couple of special videos coming out for Christmas, and we have Rumble matches coming out next week, so be sure to be on the lookout for those. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Peace.